Hey guys, today I am making another buttercream flower cake. This time I'm going to show you how to make tulips as well as hydrangeas. So many of you have been leaving comments on our Facebook, our Instagram, and even in the comments of our YouTube videos requesting to see tulips in particular. So I thought why not pair them together with some gorgeous hydrangeas and turn it into a garden style cake. So the first thing that I went ahead and did to make this cake was of course to bake a cake. I have a seven inch round here and I've just done a smooth coat finish on the sides and I've left the top quite domed and that's gonna help us when we start arranging those flowers to give us a nice little mound and a slight curve to work on. I also made up a whole pile of our sweet buttercream recipe in lots of different shades of white, blues and lots and lots of purples as well as a touch of green for our leaves. Now we're also going to need some piping tips for this. The first one I have is a flat tip and this is an Ateco brand in a number 45. Then I have Wilton number 2, number 352 and number 406. Now 406 is a large petal tip. If you don't have that you can go ahead and use a 125. For all of those people that watch us all of the time you will notice that there isn't a 104 in sight. I know, the horror, but there are other tips that you can use to create gorgeous flowers. I get a little bit hooked on the 104, but I thought I would venture out of my comfort zone today and share with you these tulips and hydrangeas. I'm gonna start with my 406, and I'm just gonna do a wriggle up. I'm gonna come around just on a slight curve and barely overlapping. Just pulling up, just like a bit of an arc. Now we're going to come back just in a few spots on the other side and just breaking it away. Now I'm going for three different shades of purple in my tulips, but you can go for lots of different colours. There's lots of reds and yellows and oranges. All the way around once. And then just coming back in a few spots. And as you go, keep popping them onto a cookie sheet so that it's nice and easy to transport it back to the fridge. Now to make the hydrangeas, I'm taking my 45 Ateco tip and I'm going to take two shades of my purple, stripe one up one side and then stripe my other one, which is a bit bluer, up the other side. Give it a bit of a squeeze until you start to see the two shades come through. Now this time we're going to create a very small mound. Then we're going to have it tapering down on the edge and go squeeze and pull out, squeeze, pull out, squeeze, pull out. And that's how you get the nice flat edges. Squeeze and release your pressure. Now I've gone for the delphinium blue with some purple, which we used in the last flower, and then also a cornflower blue. And this is a really perfect natural look to the hydrangeas. Now remember hydrangeas are in clusters so make sure that you do lots of the same color and then we'll group them together on the cake. Now I've never seen anybody else make hydrangeas so I don't know if this is the stereotypical way it's just the way that I've been making them and that's just really trial and error. And that's what caking is really all about is just giving things a go and seeing what works and what doesn't. Once these have set in the fridge, I'm just taking a number two tip and I'm just going to pipe four little dots really close together because that's what the center of a hydrangea looks like. It looks like four little dots wedged together. Now before we put the flowers on, I'm just going to add a little bit of buttercream to the cake just to help them attach. Just take each flower, peel off the backing and place it anywhere you like. I want to start by having a cluster of tulips. Now I want to add some clusters of hydrangeas. And you can come back in and add a couple more tulips. We're going to come back in with our leaf tip and add a bunch of leaves to this to make it look really like a garden. 
Just squeeze and pull to release. And there you go guys, we have our tulip and hydrangea cake. So many of you had been requesting to see both tulips and hydrangeas and I thought that because they're such gorgeous garden flowers, they'd be perfect on a cake together. Now if you love buttercream piping as much as I do, be sure to check out our buttercream cake playlist right here and we are always open to suggestions so leave your ideas for cake creations in the comment section below.